different because today is a little different but it is 6 p.m on a tuesday that means it's time for your home with bremer and jones and your hosts kent jones and don bremer and today playing the part of don bremer is jennifer bellatrami and playing the part of special guest george chase is rosie a longtime studio favorite Kent, why don't you talk with your guests and your host? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in to 21 Six and Net, everybody. Of course, you've got your home with Bremer and Jones. I'm Bremer. Wait, no. She's Bremer. I'm Jones. Don, glad to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. And uh, today is a special, special day here uh, on your home with Bremer and Jones. And, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, Rosie, glad to have you well uh so don if people have any questions about at the show they have any questions about selling a home or doing anything real estate how do they get in touch with you uh you can reach don at 847-456-6334 our website is www.bremerteam.com and our email address is bremerteam18 at gmail.com nice and of course, uh, George, uh, we'll, get, we'll get you later. Uh, and of course, uh, if you need to get in touch with me, just reach out to me right here, 216thenet, kent at 216thenet.com, or shoot us an email at 216thenet at gmail.com. And that is the best way to do it. So, uh, George Chase, who is our guest, of course, George is, uh, uh, he works for American Family, the Gordy Keesgin. Uh, agency out of Fox Lake, uh, but George has been a, a fantastic friend of mine. You might recognize his voice out there on Radioland, uh, as he and I did a lot of play-by-play uh, -play sports uh, calling this past winter together for Twenty One Six The Net. Uh, but I couldn't think of anybody else better to kind of bring in uh, to talk about homeowners insurance, to talk about uh, different things that that go on with with the house, and I'm sure. A lot of you more than likely have some pretty good questions uh, about what happens with insurance. And we'll let George talk about that in, in, in a few minutes. Right. But what makes this <laughs> what makes this special, your home, is, is really, Don and I really want to make this a neat show and give you a lot of information uh, about what's happening in McHenry Lake County um, and, and just... Uh, Kind of, kind of let you know you you've picked the right place to live uh, because this is a great great place to live and and today you may see on the table if you're if you're tuning in on the the radio you probably don't see it but if you uh, if you are uh, watching on Facebook Live or out there on any of our other platforms um, you're going to see this beautiful porcelain bride we call her the the bride well whoa, whoa oh my gosh there's the loop there it is i found it nice job don uh <laughs> so this uh we are giving away this 100 percent beautiful porcelain not possessed doll not possessed. not possessed. Uh, we believe she she comes from Ireland. She's a lovely bride. Uh, if you're into spooky porcelain dolls, why did they ever come up with a porcelain doll? You really can't play with it, can you? It's not like a Barbie. You know, anything that we had that was of this quality as a ch child, you were given, and then it was basically torture. You were not allowed yeah. to touch it. It went up on a shelf. Or in a bot like a clear box and then you were never allowed to play with it right that's yeah. it we had one um looked kind of similar to this but it was wax and it was from italy wax and, yes don't leave never it the allowed to touch it yeah uh and of course uh wayne chet thanks for joining in uh you might really love this uh porcelain doll in that uh six-wheel drive jeep of yours 
Uh, she may look good right in there with you, bud. And it's absolutely free. Then you can ride in the carpool lane. That's, yeah. Right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You could you absolutely. Your bride. That's it. Uh, Not or, possessed. Or you may want to just kind of put her in the old uh, in the old pickup truck. I know you're a car guy, Wayne. So you know what? Throw her into the old pickup truck and uh, away you go with this beautiful bride. So, uh, of course, <laughs> if you're interested in the bride, just reach out to us at 216 the at gmail.com uh, and or uh, give us a comment and a way you can go with this this lovely gal. It's a, it's a gorgeous dress. Uh, her hair could probably use a little bit of taking care of, but... She definitely, the humidity has not been good to me. <laughs> not been no. good, exactly. Uh, so, um, one of the neat things about the Bremer team, of course, is... Yes. It, and I don't want to get too deep into this show before we really turn the corner and start talking about uh, insurance and homeowners insurance and things like that. But you guys have this incredibly cool kiosk. We do. We Tell do. me about that. So um, it went in um, right after the reopening started and it is on Green Street right outside. Here's George. Oh my God, it was 15 minutes. It really was. <laughs> Come on Sorry, in, George. Rosie. All right. Um, yeah, Rosie's uh, retired. She's retired now. My, my stunt double? Yep. That's it. Yeah. Exactly. So the, we're talking about their cool kiosk down on Green Street right Have you now. been there? Have you seen it? I have seen have it. Have you touched it? I have not touched There's it. There's hand sanitizer have, next to it, so you I won't get I have not taken my yeah. picture in front of it. Either, yes, you so. also need to do that. That's it's fair. on my bucket list. There you go. But, um, yeah, so it is an interactive kiosk that looks like a basically like kind of like a calculator or cell phone and you can touch it and get information about homes that are listed in the area not just homes that we have listed but homes that are all in any, the mls anything on the mls yeah. um you can get hooked up with a lender yeah and um there's other advertising possibilities on there too for people that would like to advertise their Some business great chances right um absolutely and yeah it's just a it's fun something to do when you're when you're stumbling, drunk, stumbling, stumbling out around of since Cubs. They, yeah, since they close everything early, you can, you know, one last thing before you have to go home. It's a creative idea for sure. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. So we saw it at our, um, again, right before the shutdown there, COVID. We were in our Austin, Texas for our mm -hmm. Keller Williams family reunion. Yep. And I was standing hey, out holding everybody's stuff while they went into the ladies' room and was next to this booth. And I'm like, and like Dawn came out, I'm like, you have to see this. And yeah. she was like, we have to have this. And then we do. Now you do. That's now fantastic. Do. Of course, that uh, that voice that you're hearing and that uh, gal in the corner is not Dawn Bremer. <laughs> Uh, that is actually Jennifer Beltrami. She is playing the part of Dawn tonight <laughs> because, well. She's teaching a class um, at our, yes, teaching, <laughs> teaching a class at our market center. Whoa, oh the my God, oh. careful of the bride, bud. but she oh my she's free. Her, though. She didn't move on her own. Just yeah, she's not possessed. No, she is not possessed. She is not possessed. Um, yeah, so Dawn is actually teaching a class to new or you know, right part-time agents in Libertyville at our, our market center there. So mm -hmm. I asked her when I saw it on her calendar, I'm like, fascinating how are you going to be in two places at once and she's yeah. like hmm, you could be me. so in in other words don has uh has some well uh she's got to do a little bit of community service really is what's yeah. happening yes yeah. no class it's community service so if you see her alongside in, a, <laughs> in an orange vest she's picking up garbage vest on, she's yeah. just doing what she <laughs> <laughs> with a big Bremer team on the back. Exactly. Is that her stand uh, that she's teaching a class? The thing is, though, the joke would be from like everybody at the office is that only Dawn would somehow pick up a listing while doing something Correct. like that. She got pulled over once, and while she was pulled over in front of this lady's house, because she's got the Bremer team right. on the van, lady came out and was like, hey, you know, can you come and <laughs> yeah. Was to the great. lady's house. You gotta love it when people fall into stuff like that. That's yeah, great. Exactly. Right place, right time. You were seriously in Fox Lake when you called? 
Yeah, did you come? I was helicopter? in Fox Lake when I called. I got a police escort. I guess happened. I was yeah. like, yeah. no way. Well, but they were behind me. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure how it all worked That's out. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so, so uh, George, uh, you work with American Family uh, at the Gordy Keeskin Agency, Correct. and um, if people need to get in touch with you, how do they do that? Well, a couple of different ways. Um, online is an easy way. Um, you go to www.amfam.com slash uh, Keyskin Agency, and, and you can find it's us K -E there. K-E. It's K-I-E-S-G-E-N, or you can simply Google insurance 60098, yep. and we're right there, pretty much at the top of the list, I think. Nice. Um, or American Family. Uh, and not six double oh nine eight. That's no, that's, 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 that's habit on my part. Right. Six zero zero two zero. Right. It's Fox, Fox Lake. Lake. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how are you, Tim Santos? Welcome in, Sally. Glad to have you. She says, "Hey, George. Glad you could be here at six. <laughs> oh no, that was me who said that. Golly, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Only, only Dawn. Everything she touches turns to gold. Now, yeah. uh, the amazing thing is, George, um, and I'm and I'm glad you're here because insurance is uh, is is you know nobody ever loves talking about insurance and nobody understands it. I, I don't care yeah. who you are. Yeah. Uh, you probably do because it's your livelihood. But but you know if you have any homeowner insurance questions or just insurance because you you do it all. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're a full, full line agency right? for sure. Um, but explain to me uh, w what a good type of coverage would be for my house. What What do I need to have? And yeah. what good What question. are What are some of the extras that people will spackle on there? Well, you want to have a replacement cost coverage policy. You don't want something uh, also known as ACV or, or actual cash value. You know. If something wrong goes, you know, something goes wrong to your home, you're hit by a lightning strike or there's wind damage or, you know, things of that nature. Um, you want to be well protected, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, somebody once said to me, are you prepared for a life changing event? And that's how I like to go about setting people up with their home insurance, making sure they have the right policy, making sure they have the right limits. And, you know, if it gets a little expensive, you offset that with maybe a higher deductible. And when you're when you're talking about a life changing event, you don't mean that you're home with Bremer and Jones show every week. <laughs> very life changing. Yeah, you know, it, it could be that way. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, so so you want to do that? And is there is there a, a price per foot, or how do you figure that? How do you figure that out? Or do you just go? Well, that's a good looking house you got there, and uh, and a nice car you're driving. So this is about what it should cost. <laughs> it, How do you figure that out? Yeah, um, we use a replacement cost program yeah. that uh, is provided. Uh, it's uh, basically it's a product that we lease the rights to, and it's used in the claims industry. It's used in the you know estimating the construction industry, okay. and it gives us an idea primarily based on square footage, but also construction type, because right. brick, uh, brick is more expensive than siding. And right. a two-story home has less roofing shingles than a ranch. So there are some different components oh, really? that come into play. So yes. if you have hail damage and we got to replace your roof and you're in a two-story home, it's going to be a smaller amount of and repair. Of course, uh, concrete foundation is more expensive than wheels. Concrete, yes, yes, but I'd have to check the eligibility on the wheel thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just, <laughs> we may have to refer you to some other. Company. Got her strapped yeah. down. But you guys do insurance for things with wheels. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We call that auto insurance. Watercrafts. What about? But boats. Yeah. You know, there's there's the full line. You Lisa. Know, boats. Um, watercraft. Absolutely. Um, yeah. This is Pete's. This is the. Uh, this is Pete's doll. Pete, uh, of course, is the. Uh, producer here for the show, uh, your home with Bremer and Jones. And yeah, hey, this could be yours uh, if you want this doll. It's free and it is not possessed. The doll is not <laughs> possessed. There you go. Um, now, you had mentioned too, that's why you might want to go with a little bit higher of a deductible. Uh, 
talk to me about that. Tell me what, high deductible versus low deductible. Um, why would I want to do that? Um, and, and how do I decide that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So when we talk about deductibles, it's all about the risk and how much risk you're willing to take on versus how much risk you're willing, you, you want to put back on the company. Mm -hmm. So when you go with a lower deductible, you're increasing the risk of a higher payout to the insurance company. So that's why your premium goes up. But when you're willing to take on a larger deductible, there's less risk to the insurance company and yeah. they reward you with a lower premium. Yeah. Okay. So reward in insurance is sort of a, you know, so as, cheek as you're but. walking me through this as a, as a, you know, as, as somebody who you're talking with about insurance, how do you, how do you say that? Like, well, do you want to pay for it now? Do you want to pay for it later? Do you want a small, do you, I mean, how do you help people decide? How do you know what's right for oh, yeah. somebody? Yeah, I guess yeah, this, is what I'm saying. This this comes up a lot. Um, we will just over the past 18, 19 years that I've been doing this, $500 did deductible on your home has been kind of the standard. Uh -huh. But over the last few years, deductible, um, with us anyway, in my experience, there are companies that are defaulting to like a 1% deductible right out of the gate, and they wow. don't even offer 500 or 1,000. So that's a, probably another question altogether. Right, so if I but, have a $250,000 yeah. policy, it's 2,500. You have a $2,500 deductible, deductible in that case, and you may not want that. You may not want to have to come up with that kind of scratch. And I want you wrong. guys to know, no calculator, and I'm wearing shoes. I came up with that that fast. That was good. Yeah. good. Lightning fast. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So what are some things that homeowners might want to add that would be in addition it's to a just question. a regular replacement policy? Yeah. When, when we're talking to people about their homeowners, we'll let them know about some of the options or endorsements that are available. And, you know, the number one thing is water backup for your basement. Yeah, you know, a question we ask is, is your basement finished? Because we want that square footage in the replacement cost calculation of your house. But two, we'll also want to know if we should be recommending water backup. Because if you get that, um, you know, the sump pump fails, power goes out, your sump pump isn't going to run, water's coming in right. and it's coming up through the, through the sump pit. Um, that's not a standard item on Illinois homeowners policies you have to add it. So that's one of the things that we bring up. Huh. Yeah. yeah, Jewelry, watches, furs, yeah. you know, there's limits to that kind of stuff. So we'll ask if folks porcelain have- Porcelain dolls. Porcelain dolls. <laughs> not is, possessed not, porcelain dolls. Not <laughs> possessed. <laughs> yeah, you need, a, you need, a, you need a, 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 a special carrier for the possessed kind so of what do you So what do you tell a homeowner who's got mm, three curio cabinets full of precious moments? <laughs> and and how have you been well, to my the house? first the, <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is wow I got to get out of here uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> these suckers will buy anything yeah, but no. uh, yeah anybody with that I've uh, I've asked folks about you know do you have jewelry do you have family heirlooms do you have really nice bikes yeah. do you have you know the oh, Michael yeah, Jordan that's rookie that people card don't think about like if oh, yeah. if you have stuff that's in your car even that gets mm -hmm. stolen yeah you can claim that on your homeowner's insurance yeah yeah that's a whole nother thing that comes up too with auto insurance people ask well you know my car got broken into they uh jimmy opened my trunk and they stole my 800 dollars set of golf clubs yeah. and uh you know i need i need to, to handle that okay so well we, yeah so you know theft and theft is a comprehensive uh, coverage item on your auto policy but the replacement of those golf clubs goes back to your homeowner's policy. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's, that's why it's good yeah. to bundle. Yeah. yeah. Bundling. It is good. So, <laughs> so, um, so the, the interesting thing, what, what we do in real estate, Dawn and I, uh, I, I sell the money, um, uh, to buy the house. She sells the house. Uh, <laughs> and sometimes you have to get flood insurance. Do you offer flood insurance? What is flood insurance exactly? Flood insurance is a national program. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to go about it. FEMA underwrites uh, flood insurance. And more often than not, we find out from either the buyer, if, if they know that they're buying in a floodplain, uh, or from the lender 
that says, hey, you know, this is this schema, in there, this yeah. property yeah. is in, in, in a flood zone and we have to have uh, a flood insurance along with, you know, the regular, yeah. you know, the standard yeah. homeowners insurance. So that's on top of your homeowners. That's or, or yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. In, it's, in, it's in addition, addition to your yeah. homeowners insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Depending yeah. on the the grade of the flood zone, it can get quite expensive. Yeah, there's a whole range of flood zones, yeah. right? And uh, each one of them is based on risk. What's the risk right. to the carrier mm -hmm. that you know water's going to wash up there and, and flood the place out, or you know things that happen, yeah. you know that that that, that cause the need for uh, flood insurance. Yeah. And if you want to insure just your dwelling, or do you want to insure, you know, the personal personal property along with it, you could you could you know spend a lot of money yeah. on yeah. flood insurance. And and um, when when you when you talk about that, I mean, and that you can't get it back, you can't get your premium back that never floods. Mm, yeah. Correct, it's non-refundable. Yeah, that's a yeah. rip off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. But that's what people say about so, insurance. So well, there, and therein lies our newest business venture, the Jones yeah. Chase Flood Insurance. Uh, yeah. Twenty one exactly. <laughs> <laughs> six and that flood insurance. <laughs> we'll give you a free porcelain doll. Get yours today. <laughs> Not possessed. <laughs> yes. yes no insurance is like you're right yeah you're taking a risk as well so have so it or not have that's it, it. Yeah. I, right yeah. i mean you're, yeah. you and and it's a gamble I mean, yeah here it is yeah. but if you, you and as you say it's better to have it not need it than to need it and not have it yeah Absolutely. oh for sure i mean yeah. and you're not going to yeah. get that house without it <laughs> let's no, be honest yeah your lender yeah. unless you you're won't. paying cash your lender will not let you buy yeah. a house without it that's one of the things yeah. that you have to have before you'll get your clear to close yeah. yeah yeah exactly yeah that's part of what we do with uh you know taking in payment getting uh, a paid receipt to the uh lender and getting uh the declarations page yeah. with the mortgagee clause to the lender so now uh again the service that we provide Again, you're listening to 216 The Net, your home with Bremer and Jones. Of course, she's Bremer um, Jones. Uh, but uh, today we've got Jennifer Beltrami playing the part of uh, Dawn as she's out doing some community service work. Uh, and if people need to get in touch with the Bremer team or you uh, or Dawn, how do they do that? So the best way to get in touch with us via phone is 847-456-6334 on the wonderful internet at www.bremerteam.com or you can send us an email at bremerteam18 at gmail.com. That's bremerteam18. That's correct. The, the letters, right? The numbers. Yes, whatever. the numbers. Uh, and of course, you want to reach out to me, don't. Uh, the, <laughs> you know, Unless you uh, want the doll. That's right. Unless you want this free doll, not possessed. Uh, Kent at 216thenet.com or shoot us something at 216thenet at gmail.com. And uh, George, for you again. Email address is gchase at amfam, A M F A M dot com. That's fantastic. Now, one of the cool things and one of the things that, that Don and I uh, and why we work really well together is, and, and what I love about you too, George, is um, we believe that uh, we'll educate our, our clients. We're not going to do a hard sell. We want you to be able to make a great, great decision. And we want to be able to sleep at night knowing you made the right decision, whether it's with us or whether it's without us. You love to educate people uh, on insurance um, and and you're not a the old fashioned greasy insurance salesman. And why, why do you prefer to do that um, and take that route? Well, they, it goes back actually to uh, a, a former life of mine, a former career as a, uh, a restaurant manager and the training that I did with people and just coaching them along and assisting them and working with them and letting them know everything that needs to be done, you know, to deliver a great experience in a restaurant. And with insurance, uh, people need to know and people need to be taught, you know, yeah. what what they're buying. Um the last thing I want to do is sit down with somebody and go, here it is. Just go ahead and sign right there. 
and uh, you know, I'll get you your what free, uh, I'll get you your free porcelain window. doll. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and get a free porcelain doll. <laughs> <laughs> Not possessed. Yeah, mine's always been more of a just a yeah, consultative you've, you've kind done of approach, that, right? Yeah. And now, and now, insurance has really broadened as 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 you said, Jennifer, to to bundles. So now you you look at your automobiles, you look at um, what else? Homeowners insurance. Um, People have boats and boats. motorcycles. Yeah. We've uh, to toot our horn here a little bit uh, at American Family Effective June 15th. We did it once. And now coming up on August 1, we're doing it again, increasing our multi product discounting. So, like, uh, your car was, gonna, was getting 16% discount mm -hmm. for having your home with us. It's now jumping up to 22 wow. effective nice. August 1. So uh, they're taking that and then they're taking some of those uh, like good driver discounts yeah. and, and, and such. And they're making them what used to fall off after three years is now going to stay on your policy for five years. Ooh. So bundling is key and it's a little bit of a longevity play sure. on AmFam's part. Sure. Uh, as as we t as we talk about this, so folks, if you have any questions, if you're out there on one of the watch parties or you're listening in, uh, don't call if you're listening on the radio. Just enjoy this. Uh, or uh, if you're uh, in Facebook, let us know. If you have any questions about insurance, homeowners insurance, anything like that, feel free to shoot them our way. One question that I I have that somebody uh, wanted me to ask was, uh, I've my neighbor's got a 200 year old oak tree it's really cool it's a big old oak tree they say uh but you know half or two-thirds of that baby is on my property uh if that thing falls over yeah who's responsible for that if it destroy if it destroys my property or is it an act of god and nobody is responsible for it yeah yeah what is an act of god is a tree falls out on your property and doesn't land on anything Right. <laughs> that's an act of God, yeah. not covered by that's, insurance. That's so correct. The insurance follows the property. And if a tree falls over and lands on your fence, lands on your garage, lands on your home, it is the policy of the property owner that so, got damaged. That got damaged. Not the neighbor whose, tr whose property line surrounded the right. tree. Because again, oh. it's it's a tree. Well, then I don't it's feel not, bad. It's not. It's not. You know. Yeah, right. It's not your trailer. It's not your boat. It's not your. I have car. a. I it's have a, a huge, tree. I have a huge maple tree in in my backyard, and yeah. literally, if this thing were to fall one way, it's taking out my house. If it falls the other, it's literally taking out my neighbor's house. It's huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. So and whoever's so home gets way. hit. Yeah. So just go to lean on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but. Now, if that's the case, can I come after you because it was your tree? There's, I've, I've heard of extreme cases where this was an old tree. Yeah. Like and it was, was dead. doomed to fall, right? Yeah. It's a dead tree. So I didn't it's take gonna care It's going to fall. Yeah. There's some liability on the part of that property owner. Maybe even, you know, document that, you know, call the city, call your neighbor, you know, Know, keep record of that somehow yeah. that you talked to somebody and said this tree is in danger of falling down then you might have some recourse and it would probably take you know uh you know the claims process to air that all out or whatnot but typically speaking right. a tree falls so, on your fence so in a tornado a cow comes crashing through your wall yeah yeah, that's your problem. Your company, yeah. <laughs> so you're not and covered the, for flying cows. And, <laughs> and remember, you're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> that's, either, right. So. that's right. Oh, that's interesting. See, I, I, I never knew that. Now, yeah. uh, that that that's kind of a neat thing and, and uh, to me because I, I think that's, I'm like, it's his damn tree. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think saying. a lot of yeah. people probably have that misconception. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it doesn't come up often enough that it, it's just common knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. So it's not like a car accident. Well, you both had to be there. You're both at fault. <laughs> Right. Right. No. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You both had a yard. Right. Uh, and now now this is obviously not your first career. Uh, and it, so you you go and you're doing this and, and you love what you're doing. You're good. You're good at it. Um, but this is a horrible occupation. I mean, nobody because nobody loves it. Everybody loves their house. Right. Or right. if not, they oh, go buy a new one. And yeah. that, right. If then, yeah. then, then we're happy. Yeah. Uh, but nobody is ever just tickled. You know, you don't walk 
walk out of your insurance agent's office going, Woohoo, man, I feel good. <laughs> that is a great purchase right there. Well, as, as hard as we try to deliver that kind of an experience, it doesn't always happen. No, yeah, right? Really? That's the, you know, goes along with, uh, you know, selling a product that's a necessary evil, like, yeah. you know, home insurance, auto insurance, you know. But but then you have it, and, and uh, but then you, something happens, and you're like, whoo, thank the Lord, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. so it's, it's, it's always that feel good after. It's not a feel good purchase. It's not like going out and buying new shoes. I like new shoes. Yeah. I get yeah. excited. Right? Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. And, and that's yeah, I got a, I got a really nice iced coffee this afternoon, and I felt good about that. Right. But, you know, buying insurance, not so much. Not so much, uh, and 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 so so it's so it's a tough gig, uh, but 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 you love to do it. Now COVID hits, yeah, and and now where are we at in the in the world of insurance with with COVID? I've heard people who sell, uh, and you sell some life insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, people who say, oh well, if you got COVID, you can't get life insurance now, or you can't qualify for this or that, um, you know. And and so it's interesting to me. You get a vi the flu virus, and you can still get life insurance, things like that. Yeah. But what has it done for your business? Has it increased your business? Has it not? not what do you tell people now who maybe um, are, have have lost some work and they want to pull back on their insurance? I mean, it's yeah. got to be a, yeah. a yeah. difficult time. Um, it it is. It's presented some challenges for sure. And what it's what it's done across the board. Not, this is not unique to American Family. Um, it's given the uh, insurance companies a reason to refund some money. Oh, yeah, right. You guys so have done that, yeah. the whole thing about working for a mutual company like American Family is that our premiums go into this big collective pot, not unlike the one our porcelain doll is uh, mm -hmm. is, is resting on, um, and that money is used to pay claims and you know pay the people that work in in the corporate buildings so as things arise you know the, the, the money's there so when they looked at the auto insurance pool of money they realized that people are driving a lot less and they're yeah. causing a lot less accidents yeah. so claims payouts are not what they were a year ago so insurance companies are refunding auto premiums and uh, we've American families just actually um, gone into phase two. We had we were kind of a leader. All state yeah, yep. American family were the yep, first right two companies there. that right. started that process of refund checks to people right out of the gate. Right. Um, and then well, now the yeah. second half of the year, American family, and I'm sure we're not the only one, mm -hmm. but American family is um, offering credits on the rest of the billing for the entire oh. second half of 2020. So that's really good. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's that's pretty really cool. good. Yeah. And, and as, as we look at that, our, our, is American family, are there, are there companies out there coming out with new, you know, like this flood insurance, Hey, get COVID insurance. You know, is this, is this something, you know, as uh, you know, as uh, what's his name? The, the billionaire says, you know, never, never buy when people, you know, always be weary if people are buying and then, when people are stressing, that's when you should buy, you know, but, um, you know, I, I haven't seen it's a terrible quote. I don't even know. So <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen or, or heard of anything like really, you know, COVID, you know, right. COVID type of product. Right. Um, I know that with our life insurance and our life insurance underwriting, they relaxed the rules around underwriting a little bit and, um, tried to offer as many people as possible, um, preferred ratings. Yeah strictly based on the application questions and what we could find on like medical information underwriting sources. Um, and they postponed uh, the, uh, the, like the, like the nurse visit. Yeah. Yeah. You know? um, they would postpone that for people until they either A, felt comfortable hmm. or B, um, sure. you know, the, the virus magically went away. Yeah. Whichever comes first. So uh, <laughs> another, another great thing that I think that, that, today a lot of people are very weary of is now I'm working from home I'm online all the time um, I'm banking online now because I can't go into the bank I'm uh, doing all my insurance through online I'm ordering food from online um, and a lot of people that I talk to are a little bit weary of perhaps my identity being stolen now that 
I'm out there. I mean, it was so weird in our occupation, oh, yeah. especially on the lending side where in, in January, we have to meet face to face. I don't trust the internet. Three weeks later, everything shuts down and they're like, I love the internet. I just don't, we don't and, need and to I see each other. Face to face. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so it's amazing. Is it how it, it turned like that? Oh, I mean, it, yeah, like things that, you know, you can't do without being in person. All of a sudden, I mean, now no one can go to closings and like right. I, I give the person the keys the day before they buy the house. I mean, like it's unheard of. Like, I I mean, you used to get like you could have gotten fined and lost your license Absolutely. before COVID for giving someone the keys, keys. to the, the house before. before they bought oh, it. Now they're just like, yep, do your walkthrough, give them the keys, yeah. send them on their merry way. They can have a rager in the house the night before the closing. Right. I, you know, I mean. Yeah. But it's don't don't do that. It's not, <laughs> not advised. It's not advised. If so, make sure you insure well. with George. Yeah, with George will tell you not to do that. Um, but yeah, no, it it really is crazy how people have completely changed right. what their comfort level is. So so is there is there a way to protect against I you know you can't watch your identity twenty four seven and there's things out there like LifeLock or whatever. But is there products that American Family has that says hey we'll we can help you with that. Insurance company policies are, you know, it's you can add that kind of an endorsement to your homeowner's policy, okay. um, and we we well, see it, we yeah. see it pretty common um, where we have limits of coverage, but it, it's sort of a, a reactive thing on a homeowner's policy, okay. and that it will help you recoup coverages. Like if you've got to take time off from work, if you've got to hire an attorney, if you've got to hire an accountant, oh, okay. things of that nature to rebuild your credit and get everything back fun. to the way you yeah. were. There's $25,000, $50,000 of money that you can use for those, but it's reactive, right? Yeah. Um, right. You mentioned LifeLock and then there's um, ID Shield yeah. uh, out there as well. And those are more proactive type things that can help, you know, maybe, you know. Right, but it's those costs. Stop for, that before, it, before right. it happens. But it's those yeah. costs. I've had my, you know, identity stolen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't know why uh, they didn't improve my credit. That's for sure. Uh, but but it was interesting, and it it took me for a long time. It took a lot of time and, and effort because they don't care. Yeah. No, right. this is you. No, it's, no, not. it's not. I'm telling you that it's not. Yeah. yeah. But we don't care. You're on the hook for this. And there was a lot of things that, that I had to fight hard for to to get cleared off. Yeah. Um, and I threw up three or four. Hours other ones in there too just because yeah. So. yeah well i did see those two jet skis out in front of your home so <laughs> i but, swear to god it wasn't me. yeah for the most part i think the banks are, are getting better about that yeah. and the credit card companies are getting better about that um so that's become less of a burden for homeowners mm -hmm. but uh really you know the life lock the id shield type policies are a little bit more yeah. um proactive yeah because they watch for homeowners. people trying to like take yeah, out transactions loans in your right and, and weird yeah. loans too you know like yeah, I had a place in San Jose, California for a while. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Did you, how was that? I never got out there. I, <laughs> bad investment. I, I actually had somebody buy two wave runners on an old credit card of mine. <laughs> I make the wave runner. It joke. was not. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, it, yeah. it was not. No, it was not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so you offer that. Uh, what else do you guys, what, what would I not know that you offer as an insurance? Most people think of insurance, right? Home, home auto. Life. life yeah yeah so one of the things that we really need to think about is a liability umbrella um, you know in our so happy litigious sure. society these days nothing is our fault everything oh, is right. the other There's person's no fault right right and I'm gonna sue you for what just happened so a liability umbrella these days is very very important and a great way to leverage uh, say a million dollars of the insurance company's money for about 200, 250 bucks a year. Really? So let's say you have $300,000 of liability on your homeowner's insurance and you have 250 on your auto insurance. You buy the million dollar umbrella and now you're at a million three, a million 250. Yeah. And they're important for people who, not just you know the garden variety home and auto customer, sure. but the property owner, the guy who's got a couple of rental dwellings in his name yeah. and renters in his pot in I his home, this, really. where he doesn't know what's going on and what yeah. could potentially oh, happen. That's a good point. So, uh, and, or a pool, a guy with a pool, 
And when I put the fence up around the thing, right. yeah, it's a trampoline. It's a four foot fence. Yeah. A trampoline, sure. Yeah, it's yeah, got the net on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So when we talk about home insurance and property insurance, we talk about risk management. What do you stand? You know, are you protected for that life changing event? You know, are you protected for and ready Not for the kids who climb over the <laughs> railing of your pool and jump in there and are drinking right. beer yeah. and one of them yeah, they drops, lose track of each other. You know, and one of them then they're going to sue you. Yeah, because you really should. Their parents are going to sue you. They should because I probably drowned them. Because the hell out of my pool. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> um, you provided an attractive nuisance. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. It's your fault. That's right. That's amazing. So I've never, I've never heard of that, uh, and that's that's on a personal level. That's it's not business. Level. That is well, yeah, yeah. There are there are right, there are two yeah, distinct but, items. But we're talking sure. about personal, right? Personal liability yeah. umbrella. Really yeah. pretty affordable. Yeah. Not. Possessed. Not possessed, people. <laughs> Not <too possessed. laughs> right? Um, that yeah, is pretty. Two hundred fifty bucks for, for a year. million for a year. Oh yeah, that's yeah. They're, yeah. Now, now, if you have the boat and you have the wave runner and you be, have the would, quads and all that and your motorcycle, yeah, there's you know a ten, fifteen uh, dollar bump for you know each of those toys that you add to it. But yeah. when you think about it. It's it's incredible. You, you, you just gotta have one. I moved it. The microphone is not free. The <laughs> porcelain doll is free today. This is for the seventh caller, or the first person who says they want it. <laughs> or, or you can have this beautiful porcelain doll all the way from Ireland. And she Ooh. is all porcelain. She's heavy. She's very heavy. Beautiful wedding dress. We call her the bride. Not possessed. Right, not possessed. That's <laughs> more. Just not possessed. Even, even um, what you know? I think sometimes I get people will ask questions about, or you know, make comments like, "Oh, well, that'll be covered on my homeowner's insurance," and it'll be stuff that is definitely not right. covered on a homeowner's insurance. Yeah. What are some of the weird things that people think that they're going to get covered by a homeowner's insurance policy. That's a good one. Uh, I think one of the things I see most often is a business run out of the home. Yeah. You know, and monkey business. <laughs> well, monkey business oh. isn't covered. Okay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, but people working out of their home have to pay special attention to um, the, the business equipment that they have, you know, a salesman who's maybe got the company Sales. laptop, maybe some samples, uh, the accountant who's got a home office and people come to his place oh, yeah. Yeah. to get their taxes done. Homeowners is not going to cover that accident when that guy comes in there and, oh. and something happens. I should have fell down the stairs at my old accounts. Place. There you go. You yeah. 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 See? yeah. Plan for the future. Uh, that, all right, so so that's the obvious ones. What are the non-obvious ones? What are oh, oh um, jewelry is one of those things that we have to educate people on. You know, yeah. they'll they'll have several thousand dollars worth of jewelry, but nobody really knows unless you're either educated or you are an avid reader and you find that most often policy limits inside uh, of a, a homeowner's policy are really only $1,500 per one item and $2,500 total. Ooh, which yeah. that's not much. It's not much. There's no. your eye, there's okay. your eye so, watch. Yeah. Right. So yeah. what, I guess, what is the cost I to I add? I watch you. You're very happy. <laughs> <laughs> totally with the time. He is currently though, folks, addicted to TikTok. I do. I love the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so what, how much Speaking would it cost to add yeah, um, jewelry is probably one of the most expensive because it's got the largest like claims history. Sure, so, sure. sure. So, figure about ten bucks per thousand, okay, um, per thousand of coverage on your homeowner's policy. Yeah. So if you have a few nice pieces of jewelry, or that one piece that's really nice, or a lady's wedding ring that you know the guy went out and spent you know several thousand dollars on. Yeah. Um, take the yeah. finger. Yeah, yeah. You want to put that on a ride, or you want to, you want to schedule that on your homeowner's policy. But, but I would have to go down to the jeweler to get it appraised and give you an appraisal. Depending. Or am I just going? Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can add. You can bump up your jewelry to just unscheduled jewelry coverage. Um, 2500 per one item, five grand total. And there might be some policies out there where you can even do it a little bit higher than that. Yep. But it, 
once you get above and beyond that, companies like to know that, okay, what's this piece? Where's the appraisal or the bill of sale? Yeah. You know, most, again, most often it's, it's the wedding ring and uh, you get a little bit broader coverage, you know, uh, mysterious disappearance. It was there one day and then it wasn't. That's right. And you get a zero deductible too so when you schedule your jewelry. Really? So, she was there one yeah, day and then yeah. she wasn't. Yeah. Uh, it's a story of my life. <laughs> um, so we've got to take a quick break right now. But when yeah. we come back, I want to talk to you about um, what people should look for in a good insurance agent. Sure. Perfect. So if somebody needs to get in touch with you, how do they do that? Um, if you would like to get in touch with the Burma team, you can call them us at 847 456 6334. Hit us up on our website, www.bremerteam.com, or send us an email, bremerteam18 at gmail.com. Absolutely. Yeah. And of course, uh, my good friend, if somebody needs to get in touch with you, if office, somebody's trying yeah. to get in touch with me, uh, yeah. Office phone for us is 847 587 6900. Yeah. Uh, email again, G chase at amfam.com or you know american family fox lake and then we'll pop right up there it is and of course here uh pete how do they get in touch with you at uh 216 at 216 the net you can go to 216 the net.com check out the entire station all the lineup of all the amazing shows like your home with bremer and jones which airs every tuesday at 6 p.m or you can send a note to 216thenet at gmail.com, or you can tune in to Uncle Pete in the morning, uh, Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. There you go. Uncle Pete with a hard P. With a hard P. Right. Nothing like a hard P in the morning. That's right. <laughs> oh, That's with Uncle Pete. That's it. Uh, otherwise, it'd be Uncle Eat in the morning if it was a silent P. Right. That's why it's a hard P. So it's on complete. So when we uh, when we look to, to do some business, uh, what what should I look for in an agent? What is a good agent? My shirt, my entire shirt's coming on, but it's coming on. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't understand yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry. We've got yeah, monkey I'm, business I'm going on. We got shirts getting on, but non possessed dogs, makeup, dogs and cats living together. I yeah, I don't know what's going on. Mass hysteria. Yeah. So uh, what what makes a good insurance agent? And what makes uh, well, we'll just leave it there. So yeah, if yeah. it's not, if your if your agent is not this, more than likely, not a good agent. You want somebody who's going to be willing to take the time to go over things with you. Anybody who, for me personally, and anybody I would recommend, if somebody's just rushing me through this, they're not explaining uh, the policy and the coverages that I'm about to buy. Yeah. If they're not taking the time to, you know, listen to the questions that I'm, you know, uh, uh, that I'm bringing up, you know, right. Somebody who talks more than he or she listens is also not somebody, not somebody. that I would always recommend doing business. With. How often do you reach out and touch or make contact or because at one time back in the sixties, the insurance guy was invited to the wedding. The insurance guy was invited to the baptisms and birthday parties. You were a big part of it, right? Sure. And then it kind of fell off and, you know, they, they weren't. Yeah. Uh, and, and so how do you take care of your customers? How often do you touch touch them or reach out to them? What I mean, just give them an idea. Yeah, yeah. So we, we try to. It doesn't work out this way 100% of the time, but we try to, before the renewals come up, we get notice from the company yeah. that uh, here's all of your, you know, July... 2020 renewals, home and auto. And we'll look for increases. We'll look for, you know, a spike in premium or a discount falling off or something like that. And then we'll reach out to people and get a hold of them and tell them, you know, what's happening, why it's happening, sure. you know, what can we do to avert it? Um, and uh, we're about to embark on a campaign here with this August 1, um, you know, discounting happening um, to let people know. Um, it's really pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, what's, now you're going to force going you're going to force the hand of the other insurance companies. Oh yeah. Kind of yeah. like what you yeah. guys did with your your refunds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I will say this though, and I I will speak for the majority of of the people in this in this office. When this state was on total lockdown, I really enjoyed driving around. Oh, I was just, <laughs> just talking to someone about this the other day. I like I have now like I didn't used to really get road rage. 
but the COVID spoiled right? me so oh, bad. It was and now so nice. I'm like, get off my so We were all, we were all, all <laughs> Why are you all back right? out again? Go home. Yeah, we we're all essential. So you yeah. just got to be. Uh, essentials out there you didn't well, have to worry about somebody on well, your tail then there was like so many morons that were using it as like the covid 500 where they yes. would like drive because it was nobody was out on the streets yeah yeah and yeah, i mean you're yeah. like oh you just be driving i mean you know like not not speeding yeah yeah i mean yeah. right like, but but then like someone fly past you like i had people doing insane stuff i even watched people in trucks and cars go over median yeah. To just they just decided, you know what? I'm going the other way. Yeah, now. Like I, I made a mistake. And, I don't uh, want to go this way. And and or do major left turns from yeah. left turns from the far from the far right, right lane. lane. Oh yeah. I mean the stuff and, you yeah. saw during it, it was like, oh my so, god. Yeah. But at the same time, here's the most frustrating thing: the gas was the lowest it's been since I was, was a teenager. It was I think. fantastic. And you couldn't, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, a tank of gas lasts you two weeks. Because you weren't going too many places. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was interesting. yeah. Oh, yeah. And for years, we've been telling um, our, our our credit card companies and our and our, our our landlords and our this and our that. We've been telling them, no, you don't have to charge me that just because my payment was late. And right. now what's happening? You know, the airlines, you don't have to charge me because I want to change my flight. Right. They, they just wanted to charge yeah, it. That's right. We'll right. find it out, yeah. right? I say that Please. cynically. Right. Yeah. I say that cynically. But then on the other side, it's it's really um, for me. It's been kind of a heartwarming experience in that we're really helping each other out. All industries yeah. Are, yeah. are kicking in yeah. and pitching in, and and everybody's waiving fees, pushing back deadlines. I, yeah. I think yeah. it's really been kind of you know the one bright spot that you can yeah. come up with yeah, this is. whole it is nice uh, COVID deal. So as, as so you're reaching out to them uh, at at minimum once a year. Yeah, I mean, because you got a big book. You've been doing this for a while. You've got a nice size book of. of right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Clients. want you want to try and, and do that. It just you know just a to you know to 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 keep in touch, to keep in contact, to let people know that you do value their business, yeah. that you do care about them, uh, and and you know want to keep them as clients. So it's really it's in our best interest to do that, and it's 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 such a feel good when and, we. When and we here's do that. here's the real deal, and uh, you all listening probably have felt this as well. Is the truth is. We've all talked with somebody who's just like, well, I don't, I don't know who it is. <laughs> I just, I started out, I started out with Bob Johnson over here, yeah. uh, you know, at Mutual of Omaha, yeah, uh, and then uh, it turned into something else, and some young kid took it, and I don't know. I just, I pay my premium. I, I can't even tell you yeah. who it is. Oh yeah, we, we hear that all the time. You know, so and so was with him for years. And yeah, he retired. Then they gave me this young guy and. I met him and, and I knew he wouldn't last and sure right. enough, he didn't. Right. And, and now I'm with somebody else. Or, right. They got me reporting to the 800 call center. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. It's, it's so much better to have an agent that you can work with. So all of a sudden the tree falls on my house and I call you. What do you do? I let you go to voicemail. Yeah. <laughs> that was Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm busy right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> So I had my wife call you. <laughs> nice. So, uh, I mean, the tree's on the house. I call you. What do you do? The first thing I ask you is everybody okay? Yeah. Whether it's a tree fell in the backyard or you were involved in a fender bender on Route 31. Yeah. Is everybody okay? And, and we want to make sure. And that's that who he is, folks. Yeah. I mean, he's that genuine. Yeah. He cares. Um. And, and I'm not the only one. That's, you know, we do that. We do, well, we do care about our like, Here's the 800 number. You better call. Yeah. And yeah. again, to answer your question, who should you not have as right. an insurance agent? That, uh, that's, that's the guy. Right. Um, but, yeah, we just we start taking the, the details of the information. I've always liked to. And uh, with most of the places that I've worked, we prefer to take that information, have that conversation about what's just happened. Uh, for two reasons. One, it's just, it's good business sense. It's good relationship. Yeah. Uh, it's good, you know, um, just human interaction to be there for somebody and ask them those kind of questions and, and show the compassion. But every once in a while, we'll, we'll get involved in a conversation with somebody like say um, they've had that tree fall on their fence and they got an estimate for the repairs and it's going to cost 1200 bucks to get it done. And they have a thousand dollar deductible on their policy so we can educate them and let them know that 
Just take right. care of it yourself and don't claim it. You can take care of this thing yourself, not claim it, not have it on. Nothing there, looks you know? better than a couple of blue tarps over your roof. <laughs> <laughs> So there Just are make sure your Christmas lights are still. There right. are instances where, well, <laughs> you know, right. here's one we get. My teenage son bumped into somebody else's car. It's my neighbor just down the street. He was coming down, and my teenage son was backing out and clipped his bumper, and it's about seven hundred bucks worth of damage. You know what should we do? Well, uh, how's your relationship with your neighbor. Your neighbor? Neighbor, you know, could you have the conversation of? Can, hey, can we pay you for the damage to your car? Not put this on my teenage son's driving record, right, because insurance it's record. Expensive enough. Um, because it's already my expensive enough. My teenage son totaled two cars no. inside of a year, and we were asked not to insure with that company anymore. So. I'm not surprised. <laughs> that, that, that can happen. Just that, so you know, they didn't think about happen. my teenage yeah. son. <laughs> so those are just some of the conversations right. we like to have when somebody calls in and says, hey, this just happened. Right, but uh, and, and the point that I'm making here, folks, with George is call him. You know, he's no, not going to push talk. you to, to an 800 number. He's going to take care of you. That's what he does. Yeah. Um, that he's more concerned about you, your well-being, and you're not going to sit on press one, press five. Was it a tree? Press two. Press. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, sure. so the real deal is, let's say you you own a house, mm -hmm. and the water main coming into the house. Um, you know, and you you live on a hill, so there's you yeah. don't have the flood insurance or the wet basement insurance. Yeah. But the water main breaks inside the house, and yeah. things get a little wet. Uh, but then, as you're trying to fix it, you end up digging some holes in your backyard and end up putting a lot more money than you probably had anticipated. Yeah. Is that backyard and all that work covered by your homeowner's insurance? Um. Again, a call would like go to voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in to What's in Your Love to find out the true story of what happened in the backyard Friday morning with uh, Deacon Skeet, and uh, you'll you'll probably laugh a lot. So, so homeowners policies are designed to you know to, to protect the dwelling and the stuff that's underground that's subject to time and tree roots and freezing thawing of the earth and earth movement are typically not covered. Rip off. Comma. Is, is however, there comma, way however, to get yes. Said things. Um, American Family, and this is also a good one for the what do people not know about homeowners and right. that they could get. Service line endorsement is offered by a few companies, and for very little money, you can get coverages for that incoming water line, mm -hmm. the incoming sewer line, the incoming gas line. That if something goes wrong, you're protected. Um, and how? How far back can you backdate that policy? <laughs> <laughs> backdate isn't a word we like oh, to use uh, very often in the insurance business. <laughs> oh, all right, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 right up Saturday, there with premium I mean, reduction still, and discounts. You just say you didn't turn yeah. it in. We talked about it on. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, if the agent yeah. is your brother-in-law, you know maybe you maybe never, you something never know. Happen. You never so, know. is that an expensive? No, it's not. It's really, really? cheap. So service yeah. line, service line, service line endorsement. endorsement. Yeah, yeah. So because uh, in most villages around here, you're you're responsible from the water main to your house. That's what you're responsible yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. they have to yeah. shift that, that, that line things. that comes in mm -hmm. perpendicular to your home. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Anything that happens there, you're responsible for it. Um, yeah. I know because I asked the village <laughs> to send me that. And they did and highlighted it. So thank you, Wonderly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, but, but that, I mean, those are good things to know that, that I am going to guarantee probably 90%. I've learned a lot. I took a bunch of notes and wrote things down because I, I really think the liability umbrella is huge in today's world. Yeah. And for that low of cost, I mean, it's less than your phone bill for the entire for year. For the entire year, exactly. And people, yeah. it's just, and, and yeah. call George and, and ask him about that. And then the service line endorsement uh, is a yeah, few, I've never heard of that before. Uh, and, and here's what, it really doesn't matter the age of the house for that, but if you live in an older neighborhood, there's a good possibility. You know, mine. Oh yeah. My water line probably was was put in out there. Uh, my home was built in 1964, so it was probably 1963 
when that water, you know, water line was put in there, that that's a lot of time underground for sure. With and how trees many, and, yeah, and how many neighborhoods do we have where homes are built in the thirties, the forties, yeah. the fifties, the sixties, and those, you know, that set of piping has been down underground. Right now, for again, years. that that's not. I mean, you're, it's going to help pay for some of the cost of it. It's not going to, you know. So if you have a professional come in because something went wrong. You, you sprung a leak out in your yard or something like that, then what's going to happen is that's going to help you yeah. Oh, yeah. to defray mm -hmm. some of those costs. That's what insurance is yeah. for, right? So I, and that's awesome. That's th Those are good things to know. And, um, it, but we're running out of time. I, I hear the music playing. So <laughs> How uh, did you hear that? Once again, once again uh, you've been listening to 216 The Net right here, real life internet radio. Uh, this is your home with Bremer and Jones. She's Bremer, I'm Jones, but today Jennifer Beltrami is playing the part of Dawn. So if people want to get in touch with you, how do they do that? Um, well, you can come visit us at 1218 North Great Street in downtown McKenna. Right downtown. Um, Big kiosk. Big kiosk. kiosk. Yeah. And um, otherwise you can call uh, Dawn and she answers her phone. She does. She knows it too. 847-456-6334. <laughs> Bremerteam.com or Bremerteam18 at gmail.com. Yeah. And of course, Dawn isn't here because she's got some community service that she's doing. Uh, so just give her a little honk and say, hey, you're home. <laughs> As she's picking up garbage. Yeah. Uh, and of course, George, thanks so much for being here. We know you, you were running late and you got here in great time. Uh, but if people want to know more and have more questions about homeowners insurance, just any kind of insurance, how they get in touch with you. Yeah, so our office is in Fox Lake, right uh, just off the downtown area by the movie theater, uh, 64 East Grand Avenue in Fox Lake. 587-6900 is the phone, of course, 847 area code. But, Chase at but for the 1.8 million listeners out there, uh, he's licensed <laughs> He's licensed in Illinois, uh, so you don't necessarily have to live in Fox Lake to deal with him. He can handle you. Uh, Wisconsin, too, or no? We are licensed in Illinois and Wisconsin, Gordy and I. Uh, and Gordy is actually in another like six or seven different states. There you go. So he can absolutely take care of you uh, and your insurance needs uh, for the, everybody uh, in the uh, Chicagoland and, and greater Milwaukee area. Yep. So uh, that's it. And that's it for us here uh, at this episode of Your Home with Bremer and Jones. Uh, tune in next week when we're back. And, and Probably don't. Pro probably Dawn. And if whoever wants the doll, this beautiful porcelain uh, bride, from Ireland, all the way from Ireland, uh, not possessed, uh, let us know. <laughs>